And we're back to exploring Pika Labs. Let me show you how you can remove the watermark. We'll simply create plus one more image. I use this image of an astronaut. I'm gonna make it AR60 by 9. And then I let it run. I have to mention that currently Pika Labs is free and they don't go after people who use their content. So it's free to use in any way, shape or form, even commercially. But this may change when at some point they will have a paid subscription model. So be careful if you use this stuff and remove the watermark and especially if you use it commercially. Nobody knows what's going to happen in half a year or a year from now if they retroactively give you a copyright strike on YouTube or go after you. I don't know. I haven't yet found any indicators of that but you should be careful. Having said that we can remove the watermark quite easily. Here's our result, I'll download it and at the bottom right there it says Beaker Labs. We can use for example this free watermark remover from Beacard. You can download the app or use the online version, I'll link to it in the video description below. Just click on remove watermark from video right here, double click on the file, it's going to get uploaded and it's just a 3 second clip. This usually works pretty fast. You can see it right here and you get this box. Just left click drag this box onto the watermark and if the watermark that you've got, maybe not a Pika Labs, a different one, is a little bit bigger, you can add a second box and then use an effect like this. Click on erase and it gets processed and it's already done. We'll download it. Let me click on it and I'll open it and you can see at the bottom right we don't have a watermark anymore. It's not a perfect result, it blurs it out a little bit so you can see that something was there but you only see it when you know that something was there prior to being removed. It's a free version so I don't want to complain too much about it and as you've seen it's easy to use and quickly done. Once again I'll link to it in the video description below. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.